Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, March 23rd. I'm going to mark this one out as a demo, even though you're not going to see me throwing a pot or glazing, because what I'm going to talk about is very specifically glazing for potters who are trying to leave the ranks of beginning potters. Okay, so beginning potters, you glaze it whatever way your instructor suggests or the circumstances of the facility allow. Ideally, when you're learning to glaze, you're not brushing it on. For one thing, that's really time consuming. Uh, for another thing, to do it right, the way I was told, is you had to do it three layers in opposite directions. Okay, so north, south, east, west, then north, south again. I mean, it just takes forever. I remember uh, glazing uh, down at uh, Baker University once where there was uh, an undergraduate there very carefully doing her little piece and I had come in just to do some uh, table stock so I had the table covered in porcelain bisque mugs and and then just went through dipping them in a bucket and so forth. So she almost jumped out of her chair because you know she looked up she saw this table covered with white pots and she goes did you make all of those oh yeah oh my lord and she goes back to decorating and she looks up in her experience seconds later and they were all glazed brown the glaze was brown it wasn't going to turn out brown uh, i mean she was shocked it was actually a little time dilation for her but yeah i had glazed 20 or 30, and she was still on hers. So ideally, you're in a situation where you are using tongs to dip them into buckets. And by buckets, I mean buckets. Okay, now, I'm not endorsing the maker of that bucket. Um, when, we, when I started off, we would get buckets from fast food places. The pickles would come in them. So all our glazes smelled of pickles. So... So when you start off, you're doing all over glaze, one glaze, and then you get the clever idea to do two glazes, and then you notice where the glazes overlap. Oh, now you've got three decorative zones. The other thing you can do that's very simple, many glazes look different if they're thin as opposed to if it's a thick coat. And you can, you can decorate with that. For instance, in this case, I use just plain old masking tape to tape off. Then I glazed the whole thing, and then I took the masking tape off and glazed it again. Okay. I know it's going to work because it's the same glaze. I mean, there's no how the glaze it you know interacts with its issues, but I get I get to decorate very simply. And it's all just one glaze. I, I, I haven't really done anything complicated. Uh, you can do something similar with typically narrower glaze or, or masking tape that you have to order online, where you tape it, glaze it, pull the tape off. Uh, and in some cases, the raw clay will be attractive. So get brave, but do it in steps. And take notes, because it's really sad when you can't explain why something turned out gorgeous. Have a good day.